Okay, I want to show you guys how to do one more thing. Here we have an entire file inside of an array, and that's cool, but we want to be able to read that file and figure out what's inside of it. And the way that we do that is with tokenization. So after I've closed the file, I'm going to start processing the contents of this. And all I want to do right now is figure out what every single individual word in my file is. So I want to know that there's a pound include in here, that there's an IO stream in here, that there's a using and a namespace and an STD colon. And I just want to see all of the tokens inside of my file. First, I'm going to want to go through the entire file. So I'm going to need a for loop that starts from the beginning of the file and goes until the end. And I don't want to just print out the entire file. I want to print out one word at a time. So if I want to do that, I need to know where one word begins and where one word ends. So I'm going to make two variables that will keep track of that for me. Word begin and word end. I'm going to start looking through my entire file looking for words. And a word is anything that does not contain white space. So I need to ignore white space. So when I'm going through the file, grabbing characters, character equals entire file i, if I find any white space, either a null terminator, which I'm going to count as white space, or a new line character, or a line feed character, or a tab, if any of those happen to be found, I'll just do nothing. But if I find something other than that, then I'll know that I'm inside of a word. Bool reading word equals false. Reading word equals false. Reading word equals true. Minus one, minus one. And if I've been reading a word and all of a sudden I find white space, which means I'm no longer reading a word, then I want to make a note that I've found this word. If reading word, word end equals I. If not reading word, word begin equals I. So when I find a word, I'm going to print it out. For int a equals zero while a is less, oh, a equals word begin while a is less than word end. See out entire file a. See out end l. And I think that should do it. Not quite. Oh, spaces. Silly me. Case space. There we go. So every individual word, everything that's separated by white space, is now printed out all by itself at the very end here. This is a little example of string parsing. And this is used all over the place in computer science. The compiler that makes my program is actually doing really advanced string parsing on this code to determine where every word is, where every identifier is, and then it checks to see what those identifiers mean by looking up various tables. Many of them are, are created and compiled at runtime in arrays that are allocated using new right here, new. I'd like to count how many of these words there are. So int word count equals zero. And at the end of the program, I'm going to print out how many words were found in main.cpp to another file. So I'm going to make another file. I'll call it output.txt. And I will do this. Uh, oh out file, out file, output operator, number of tokens, word,
count. Out file dot close. So it ran the program, and then it should have created an output.txt file somewhere near my main.cpp. I can find it by right mouse clicking on main.cpp and going to open containing folder. Then somewhere in here, we should have, uh, where is it? Five, did it not get created? Huh, I guess it didn't, output.txt. Oh, I know, it's because I need to make this an output file stream. Let's run that. Check the containing folder, and there's output.txt there, and we can see that it has exactly what I expected, which is the output of the number of tokens here. Printed that out right here. Well, I hope that was educational for you guys. If you have any questions or comments, let me know.